And now I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Oscar. We're gonna cook with onions. What are we gonna make first? Yeah, we're gonna make a flatbread pizza, kind of. Okay. So we're gonna use an onion. So I'm using a yellow onion. We're gonna caramelize that on the, on the tip end that we have over here. Okay. Uh, all what we're gonna do is uh, add uh, olive oil and salt. All so right. the sweetness of the onion is gonna just pop out on your, nice. on your pizza. Nice. Really yeah. highlight the, the onion here. Okay, so should I add some? Yeah, can you use, please, just a cup. Let's do like a sure. tablespoon, just drip that. And that's enough, that's All pretty right. good. And uh, we're doing, you wanna just put that in there, so. All right, yep. What we have here is a one onion, whole onion. All right, nice and thin. Yep. I'm glad you sliced it, not me. <laughs> Both of them in there yeah, at the same time? Yeah, at the same okay. time. So this is gonna take about about 10 to 15 minutes to cook down right. and okay. get a really nice uh, caramel color, darker. So we're caramelizing these onions. What's special about that caramelization process? So, uh, this, so we're gonna use uh, all the natural sugars that's gonna come mm -hmm. out and uh, they're gonna be sweeter than, than the actual raw onion when you feel that like in a solid. It's gonna Crisp, uh, spicy. So, nice. Yeah, so yeah. just sweet Sweeter. and delicious. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. All right. We'll let them do their thing. All right. All right, they're looking pretty good. We've got a yellow onion here, and of course, caramelized onions are nice and sweet. Is there a reason you'd pick a yellow onion over another kind of onion? Uh, yes, uh, yellow onion is gonna be milder, so the red onion, pretty much you use uh, raw, uh -huh. because of the, the the flavor they have All right. and the spiciness. So. Nice. All right. And what comes next? So next, what we're doing here, I'm just grab one of the spoons. Uh, we're gonna get the onions out of the pan. So okay. I'm just gonna just use the pan. Here, I'll let you. Uh, or, let you dress them up. Okay. So what I we're gonna do is just get the onions on our pop pastry here. Mm -hmm. This is puff pastry? That's puff pastry, and I just uh, use a rolling plucker. Okay, to, to poke all to the little, holes, the little holes and don't get an so extra it doesn't... puff all the way yet. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna make two here. And now that we're gonna be uh, using this spoon for the same. Uh, oh, sure. And then what kind of cheese is this? So we got a talasha cheese, it's more like a, the flavor is gonna be, flavor is gonna be more like a blue cheese. Oh, okay. Kind of. Uh, it's a, a really soft cheese, more yeah. like a brie. Yeah, it does look a lot like a brie. But this is an Italian it's cheese. It's an Italian cheese, it's smoky. So mm -hmm. the flavor is gonna be really smoky here, so. All right. It's gonna. And then that is and a blue cheese. And it's a blue cheese. <laughs> it's a gorgonzola cheese is also, it's a sweeter cheese that's gonna help us to not uh, compete against the onion, the flavor of the onion. Mm -hmm. And just try to balance the flavor in there. So we're doing the same with that. So sure. Not too much cheese. We preheat the oven at 400 degrees. Okay. And uh, it's gonna stay in the oven for five, for five to six minutes. All right, nice and fast. So we're gonna just get these babies in here. They look. Oh, they look good. So that's nice. the color that you want. And a great way to highlight the onion flavor, which is just when they caramelize, so sweet and delicious. And you're gonna put so a little sage on it? The sage is gonna give you just a little bit more of a flavor to the, this uh, flatbread right here. Mm -hmm. And sage always goes with the onions. Yeah. So I love it. So that's pretty much all we gotta do. All right, let's uh, cut one up and give it a try. Let's do that, okay. So. Perfect. All right. So yeah, let's yeah. try it. All right. Yeah, that onion flavor really shines. What a perfect appetizer too. Exactly, and it's just less than 30 minutes to do it, so. Yeah, something simple to do for a dinner party. Yep. That is delicious, and the, uh, the gorgonzola cheese really shines exactly. in this application yeah, does, too. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice, and then a little sage to just to brighten everything tip. up. Yep, that's, yep. That's, all that's terrific, thank you. All 
All right, we've had our appetizer. Now we're going to make a salad. We're going to make a salad, yes. With, um, with pickled shallots. Yes, uh, pickled shallots. So uh, the shallot is going to be more like a milder onion. It's in the same family. So, mm -hmm. so and it, it just has a less sharp flavor. Right. So it makes a perfect, it's great in a salad. That's it a is. great way to use that. Right? Correct, yeah. All right, so what do we do to pickle shallots? So we're going to slice those uh, shallots. Okay. I like slicing shallots better. They don't make me cry quite right? so much. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're really crisp, so mm -hmm. there you go. All so right, the and next... then we've got to make a brine, right? Yeah, we got to make a brine, so we're going to use uh, rice boy vinegar okay. and same amount of uh, water. All right. So we're going to do an, one cup of that. Rice wine vinegar. One cup of the tub one water. One cup of water. And we're going to use six ounces of sugar, just right. regular sugar. Table sugar. And let's do just like a pinch of salt. All right. I don't want to get like a mesh on there, but I mean, nice. that's the one right there. And then we're going to use about uh, eight peppercorns, black peppercorns, three of these uh, juniper berries. All right. We're gonna do a quarter of the teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds. All right, just a little bit of mustard seeds. So it's gonna be kind of you know, tangy. Yeah, and what's that? And clove, so ground cloves, clove. Ground yeah. cloves, okay. That's that, and we're gonna do this uh, thyme. Oh, nice, thyme, fresh thyme. Fresh thyme, yeah. So we're gonna do three of these springs, mm -hmm. and they're gonna go on the same pot. Can all right, they just yeah. all go in there. Thank you, so we're gonna yeah. use to bring this to boil. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna simmer that for five minutes. Just to combine all the all the flavors in there, all right. and after that we're just gonna step uh, the shallots with the brine. Okay. And uh, we're gonna use uh, leave that on the side on the room temperature for uh, 30 minutes, and then they can go into the into the cooler fridge. All right. And how long would you say you'd want to let them sit before uh, you'd actually want to eat them? Well, well, when when I use that on the restaurant, mm -hmm. we use well let them sit for. Three hours to an, to the to overnight. Oh, okay. So. All right, and then they just get better over time, right? Yeah, it gets, gets a little more flavor. Right. Yeah. All right. And now we're just gonna let it rest. They just do their thing. Yeah, at least about a thirty minutes room temp. Nice. And that they can go to the fridge after that. Terrific. I'll just set them aside because we do have our shallots already pickled. Yeah. Right there. And we're gonna assemble a salad. And this is fun because, I mean, onions are like the base for every dish. Yeah. They're in every soup, every casserole, Correct. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always try to hide the, the actual onion, so right. we're, gonna, we're gonna put them in. the onions, but there's always yeah. that savory flavor there, but this is highlighting the Ex onion. Yep. We're gonna do black walnuts. Black walnuts, Iowa walnuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like apples, so we just grab these uh, green apples. All right, some Granny Smith apples in there. Yep, and uh, we just make a quick balsamic vinaigrette. Okay. So let's pour that. Okay. That should be good. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I love let's, apples in a salad, too. That really is yeah, lovely. And well, the shell is gonna be really good. Uh, these pick, pickled shallots is gonna be used. It's taking another great flavor. Yeah, and all right that, here. we didn't strain them or anything, the, the... No, actually the liquid is gonna be uh, kind of nice, tangy flavor on your mm -hmm. salad right here. And the last thing that we're gonna use is gonna be our gorgonzola cheese. All right, more gorgonzola, gorgonzola cheese, cheese. Yum. It's gonna be good on this... Uh, yeah, a wonderful shallot. combination. Yeah, there you go. That's all. Nice, and I am excited to give it a try. Oh yeah, let's try that. Here you go. I'm gonna make sure I get some of these pickled, pickled shallots with the, the cheese gorgonzola yeah. cheese. There we go. So if you can have a little bit of these of walnuts. Mm-hmm. They're gonna make it good. Yeah, that's a great flavor combination. I love the pickled salad, shallots really do come through. That very mild onion flavor with the nice brine. 
A great way to start a meal. That or is, maybe yeah. a meal in itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, that is terrific. Chef Oscar, thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you.